Hello again, traders. Right, um, guess what? I've made myself a coffee. I've found I've got uh, a spare 20 or 30 minutes. Um, and I have, um, if you follow me on Twitter, you'll know I've been following uh, or, or um, watching Raja Banks, who used to be called Wix Don't Lie, I gather. And um, quite frankly, um, as I've mentioned before on Twitter, whenever you revisit old methods, old indicators that sort of chimed with you but didn't quite click, um, and I'm talking about Roger Banks's uh, candlesticks and wicks and stuff, um, well, I popped back in into his live room the other day, probably a week or ten days ago, and something really, really clicked. Also, the fact that he hasn't got uh, about 15 other traders all chiming in with stuff uh, helps me personally enormously to focus on what he's telling me. So, um, so long story short, excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, long story short, I'm learning new stuff every day. And the other week, a well-known trader said, uh, traders that say they're always learning are talking absolute BS. Well, uh, I call that absolute BS. You are never, you never stop learning and you never, in my opinion, stop learning new ways to view possibly old methods, possibly old indicators, possibly um, uh, uh, blasting old myths and cliches out of the um, stratosphere. You know, things change all the time and one word, as I say many, many, many times, one word can make a whole difference in your uh, trading life. So um, let's get down to this really, really mess of a chart here. Uh, first thing this morning, I woke up and saw this divergence here and here and uh, saw a potential reversal and uh, made my money first thing. That was great. Um, as we can see, then it just collapsed. Um, and once again, we can see they've, uh, as a result of all the London Frankfurt games, they've taken it the, in the direction of the original uh, move, which I see time and time again also. But that's not what this video is about. What this video is about is to make you um, aware of Raja Banks's fantastic knowledge and teaching methods. People have mentioned the fact that he's running a, um, a brokerage and this, that and the other. Don't worry too much about that. And, um, you know, always be aware that, um, you know, go with the oldest stuff. If you're in doubt, just uh, find a broker that's been about 25, 30 years or whatever. You know, nothing against what Raja is doing, but there will all, always be naysayers and uh, you have to do, do your own research. So, um, but you know, the transparency of um, what he's teaching <coughs> is far, far too good to miss out on just because you think there might be something um, odd going on. And, um, you know, people make alliances with brokerages for, they've been doing it for years, uh, in, um, introdu in IBs, introdu introductory, sorry, getting my tongue tied, brokers, introducing brokers whatever you get a spin-off you get uh, uh, so much per lot traded by the people you introduce and go, it goes on and on and on there's so many ways to make money from forex uh, for scammers and for totally honest people so you have to make your own mind up my mind is that I, there is so much to learn from Raja so thank you if you ever watch this Raja I doubt you ever would but it, thank you Raja for what you teach and it's free as well so Back to this chart, and uh, apologies for the long-winded uh, intro, but uh, this is, it started off with my uh, me looking at the M30 dashboards, posting a chart and saying, there must be a way to learn something from these dashboards, I need to uh, work out exactly what it is. Well, the dashboard I posted was so different than this, uh, this was a bunch of red candles here and was all a bit of a mess. No 30 minute information whatsoever on gold I'm looking at. Um, there's lots of other pairs that do, it was just a complete mess. But then 
this M30 candle formed, which is, uh, according to Raja, if it's off, uh, it's made its own level of support now. This one tested and stopped. This one opened and uh, op and closed green. So he would say you have a support level down here. Very, very um, uh, vague uses of uh, Raja's um, strategy, methodology, what methodology, whatever, but it is um, what it is. And then for me, Raja wouldn't use this in his uh, strategy, but low, high, high, low, high, high, that is an uptrend. That is an uptrend with a wick. I gather Raja loves his wicks. So um, this is a potential wick fill. Um, I won't go into exhaustion and uh, and stuff because that would muddy the waters, but um, uh, exhaustion wicks and uh, f wick fill opportunities, impulse wicks I think you might call them. So, But the fact of the matter is, this is then, as I mentioned on Twitter just now, a uptrend and it is also an M5 swing trend. It was also a 2B reversal or possibly a 1, 2, 3 M5 um, higher low reversal here too but um, you know Aussie dollar US uh, dollar did a similar thing that's an uptrend and uh, it didn't fill the wick completely but there was definitely a scalping opportunity there so these are things to watch for so uh, not all are equal obviously in fact that's not that's a lie because that's the lowest uh, that's the reversal candle that's the uptrend and that is the continuation. So you will see this all over the place. That's uh, um, uh, Raja's <clears throat> reversal off of a support. It's created a support. So this would be Raja's entry, the break of that high. That would actually be Raja's entry, the break of that high. And this is a whole new thing for me because it op lends me opportunities on the five minute and the one minute charts. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So we'll jump to that gold chart again. And apologies for all the lines on this. But what we've got here, I'll just show you this on the 30 minute. I've got my snap two levels. You can They're automatic on TradingView, I think. You have to find an indicator for, um, or a script, should I say, for MT4. So it snapped to the high of that 30 minute candle, Raja's reversal candle. And it snapped to the low of that candle, which would be Raja's stop. Now... I've just learned a lot about Raja's stops and entries from uh, the recent link I've posted on uh, the second video I posted on um, my Twitter feed today. Uh, there is a plethora of useful information on Raja's stuff, some old background information about candles and tapes and tape reading, some really interesting new stuff about, uh, for me anyway, about the way he views candles, and lots of new possibilities uh, of potentially earlier entries for me personally um, using the 30 minute and then dropping to the five minute time frame so I'll show you what I mean I've drawn my levels as you can see on the high and low that is Raja's reversal level that is old su support there or uh, demand if you want to call it that um, that's the test of demand that's uh, the 30 minute candle we're interested in so I'll highlight that um, new 30 minute candle, so we're on the new one, and we'll drop down to the 15 minute first. <coughs> Make sure I haven't missed anything on there. Excuse me, just got a bit of a frog in my throat. And I have got a coffee cooling down, as I mentioned. I do tell you the truth when I mention about making videos and coffees together, so I will have a slurp of that in a moment. But so here's the M15. We can clearly see a massive down move there. We can clearly see um, that old support there. We've got that M30 level that's drawn in as a result of the M30 candle, not as a result of that M5, uh, M15 jobby there. So um, Raja doesn't like to use the lower time frames. He does mention a 15 minute. He did say that sometimes he will use the 15, but fives. And below are just uh, noise to him. They're not to me, but that's because I use them for entries and I use the momentum. So, um, you know, we all have our different ideas about what we want to trade. Not necessarily can or should, but want to, choose to trade. 
So um, M15 doesn't really tell us an enormous amount. That um, 3CR there is interesting. That's uh, at the same time as the M30 close. Um, and um, then you can see that would be the M30 wick. Um, that pullback, that uh, doji thing there. And um, not a lot else. And then you can see it's taken off. So not a lot else to be gleaned from that. RSI Histo would have given us the... Um, warning that momentum was kicking in before that candle closed it's you know it might have triggered an alert thanks Dinesh for your new alert and shown us that momentum has entered the market now some people wait for the closes of the RSI histo alert arrow but you don't need to because the momentum is a live entity as it were you can't take it away you know, so the minute you've got a momentum trigger, in my opinion, unlike candles, you don't have to wait for the close to set it. Because momentum is happening in front of your eyes. You can't take it away. You know, just because you wait another 15 minutes or 10 minutes for the candle to close, you've missed the momentum move. Okay? So that's just something that um, I, I ought to mention more often about these arrows and momentum. Hit it when it triggers, because momentum is a living thing. So M5, this is where we see the sort of uh, fast reversal, the 2B reversal. Thank you, Vic Sperandio. Years before everyone else made up news, new names for it. Um, and um, here we go. That's the 1, 2, 3 high, low reversal. Failed to make a new low. Um, part of uh, the pattern the 2b isn't as clear as you can see which is why i mentioned the one two three so now we can clearly see the lines the m30 levels drawn on that candle that um, uh, raja would have been interested in now i'm not saying this is uh, how he would trade it um, it's just how i uh, envisage potentially trading it in the future because I'd be waiting for that push up, that pull back and that continuation. But um, that M30 high is is here. These two candles here, M5 candles. That is the break. I was going to put an annotation and post it up. We can get rid of that. That was just to point to that candle. Uh, delete. Um, that is the breakout candle. We've got the new... We've got the power coming in from the TMA slope, which, as you know, I love. And we've got the power coming in from the momentum. The actual trigger happened on that bar there, the, the, the bar after Raja's breakout bar. So um, this is all just a work in progress, new observations, um, how I might consider getting in earlier. This is really interesting because at no point in this down move did we have a, a 3CR up. It's an internal 3CR, of course. The external, or, or you could call it almost like a mother 3CR, the, um, the, uh, the, in, the encompassing 3CR is that level there. So we could, um, let's put my snap to on there. There. That is the original. And, you know, I've just got my settings on Aaron's. Thank you, Aaron. Rebelant 3CR indicator. Uh, freely made for us again, available from my pinned tweet on Twitter, Best Forex Method. Um, that is the original 3CR, the outside 3CR if you like. This was just an internal one, but it's a break of a um, resistance level. Again, it's all in the settings. That's the, um, the proper one. And as you can see, it even created its own little pullback and then the continuation. So th this here is a perfect, perfect... Uh, M5 entry, an early entry, and now we have an additional reason why that is good. Before studying Roger Banks's stuff again, I didn't have that additional tick box. Now I have another tick box from what I um, would happily call a really, really fantastic trader, better than me, by miles in my opinion, and a better teacher too, but... Um, when I find people's methods I respect, and when I find they agree with what I do, then I am happy to trade it, and as such, happy to share it. And 
as mentioned to someone just now on Twitter that said, what do I do? Is this that? Is that this? Um, no disrespect to you. You probably know who you are if you watch this. <coughs> what you have to do is take stuff from Raja Banks, take stuff from what I do, and then watch it on your charts and learn from it. That's what that's what I keep printing screen time. That's why I keep printing screen time on hashtag screen time on my Twitter feed. Because every time I post that, I am telling you that screen time is the only way to become a good trader. The only way to learn from other traders tricks and tips, if you like, good traders, not all these scammers and uh, and sellers, good traders, some good sellers, very few of course, um, but uh, the good people, you've got to learn from them and the only way you do that is screen time. So that there was the 3CR up, which I've talked about for years, years and years, over a decade, easily, more like 15 years. That is the 3CR. That is the pullback because we've broken that resistance level there, and that is the continuation. And the, these moves are tied in, that's the red arrow there, that is where um, I would um, enter as a result of what Raja Banks has um, taught me, and I know about these three CRs, and I know in all of this move down here, we didn't get an RSI histo um, alert to the long side, but when we did, Roger Banks's method said go, um, my method said go, the RSI histo said go, the TMA slope said go. Um, there wasn't divergence in this instance, but there probably will have been on the minute chart. There are so many reasons, that's what you've got to stack up. Wait patiently, uh, volume in the market, time of day, uh, push up, pull back, uh, pump and dump, call it what you like. Uh, one minute chart, did we have divergence? No, we didn't really. <clears throat> In fact, yeah, there was on that, uh, on the um, RSI histo, as you can see, flat there, but uh, rising there, and um, not an awful lot on the other, on the TMA, to be quite true. I suppose you could draw a level there and look at that there. <clears throat> but we've got an uptrend, low, high, high, low, high, high, pullback, continuation, pullback, continuation. So uh, there you go, guys. Lots and lots of info on Wix, um, on Roger Banks' uh, uh, YouTube channel. I've just watched two videos this morning, and I have, have improved my understanding of candlesticks another little bit more. So thanks for watching. Have a great whatever day it is today, Tuesday. Bye for now. Green Pips.